folks and welcome to the long-awaited Model Rocket Series 3 Episode 1. In this episode I'll introduce you to the series and tell you what it's all about. So, what is it all about? Well, um, there's a particular rocket that I've had my eye on for ooh, probably sort of 13, 14 years and I finally decided to take the plunge and go for it. It's known as the Public Missiles Quantum Leap. Uh, specifically, it's the Quantum Leap 3000. And I told you we were going up a stage quite literally, uh, which we are. Uh, it's a multi-stage rocket. So it's got a booster and then it ignites a second stage known as the Sustainer. It's going to be pretty damn awesome. Uh, it's quite a complex build. Um, the Quantum Leap 3000 comes with the interstage coupler and the CPR, which is their version of dual deployment, uh, as it can reach some pretty extreme altitudes. Um, it's got the quick link system in it, so I can fly on 29mm, 38mm or 54mm motors, but we'll talk about that at a later date. The project itself is going to be a reasonably long-term project, um, looking at a launch date some part in the first half of next year. So uh, yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. I uh, will now show you the rocket itself, the kit, and some of the other bits I have got as well to go with it and make it all work. Let's get on with it. Okay folks, so here you can see the rocket itself, the Quantum Leap 3000 by Public Missiles. Uh, all this grey stuff is called quantum tubing, but uh, I'll tell you about the details of the rocket as we go through the build video. I just wanted to show you it's got uh, four separate airframe sections at the moment, uh, some couplers and then a whole load of stuff as well. Um, if I just sort of move it around for you so you can see, uh, there you go, so you've got a whole load of stuff in the back there and then uh, all the way over here. Um, it's a parachute and uh, other bits and bobs, a big orange sticker with Quantum Leap 3000 on it nice big nose cone as well so we're going to have a lot of fun putting this together I say it's quite a complex bill it's going to take uh, quite a lot of time but we'll go through it step by step and have some fun cool let's have a look at some of the other bits okay so the first thing you can see on here is the timer unit and that is going to be what's used to ignite the sustainer stage after the booster stage has fired Effectively, the first stage of the rocket is the booster stage, and then the second motor inside the upper half of the rocket is the sustainer. And effectively, what happens is the booster fires, the whole rocket lifts up, and then you set a time delay with this after motor burnout. It counts for that period of time, and then it sends an electrical signal to the igniter for the sustainer motor, and that ignites it and sends it on its way. It's a pretty sophisticated little unit. You can see it here uh, in a bit more detail. So uh, that is going to be a, a very, a very cool tool to use for our launch. Right, let's have a look at the other stuff. So continuing the electronics theme, as I say, it's quite a complex build with a, uh, a fair bit of electronics involved. This is the Public Missiles Copilot V3 Dual Deployment Recovery Altimeter. And say the timer is also Public Missiles unit as the kit is designed to work with these, as well as them just generally being very decent units to use. Uh, this altimeter, for example, uh, comes with the uh, MDAC software so that you can uh, download it from the altimeter into your computer via the uh, mini USB port that's on the back of the PCB board and have a really good look at your flight statistics. So you can see exactly when the parachute came out, the drogue, at what point the second stage ignites. So that means that we can have a really good look at it after it has flown, as well as just being um, generally well put together. So uh, if I just show this to you up close, so there you go, you can see it there. And then on the flip side uh, is the back of the PCB, and you can see the little green terminals here and uh, that is for putting in all your switches, drogue, main and an auxiliary uh, channel as well if you wish. 
Right, that's not the end of the goodies, so let's carry on. The other couple of bits that I have got imported, especially, I should say most of this stuff all comes from Chicago. Uh, so it's taken, well actually it only took about three and a half weeks to, uh, to turn up, so that's not too bad. Uh, you can see here the Hammer quick switch system. Uh, the public missiles rockets come with a quick switch motor mount tube, which means, as I said before, you can fly on 29mm, 38mm and 54mm motors. Uh, you can see here that it's got a adapter here, that's the 29, that's the 38, and then this is the uh, actual unit which goes onto the uh, 54 millimeter mother tube, is what they uh, they call it. Um, so it's just a standard retainer really, so it makes it nice and easy to uh, switch out your motors and uh, switch between the different diameters. And uh, the only other little thing here are these orange caps. Uh, which basically just go on the top of the uh, charge canisters for the dual deployment. I uh, got a load of those, they're only about $1.50 each, so I figure well, I might as well get a lifetime supply. <laughs> right, so those are all the main little components. As I say, as we go through the series, we'll uh, follow uh, each major stage of the rocket's construction leading up to its flight. The next video will be uh, putting it all together. So that should be something to look forward to, uh, as well as some other little things that will be coming up on the Max Thrust RC channel. And of course, if you enjoyed the video today, and as well as uh, my other content, please do feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe as well, as that really does help me out. And when I get the email saying that you've subscribed, uh, it puts a little smile on my face as well. <laughs> So that's it, stay tuned, look out for episode 2 and uh, enjoy some more content from Max Star RC. See you again next time.